Hello, you guys. I know I told you guys that I was going to come on this weekend because we are doing this fast. This is day five, you guys. We made it to another day. I hope you guys are doing good. You guys are not um, letting me know how you're doing on your fast. I have one person that's really contacting me and any other people that I see every day are letting me know how they're doing but i want to know how you guys that i'm connected to on here are doing on your fast are you staying consistent five um and the verse that i'm going to give you guys to meditate on um is going to be psalms 23 i know you guys know this one this is one that even if you don't go to church all the time everybody knows psalms 23 the lord is my shepherd i shall right you guys know you know what i'm talking about meditate on that because i need for you guys to understand why we're doing this fast and where god is in this fast he's with you he's walking with you he has you covered through this whole thing so no evil shall come upon you or your children while you're doing this fast no evil is going to win so there's going to be attack of the enemy don't get that misconstrued there is going to be attack but it will not prosper it will not have victory over you you will win over this so i wanted to remind you guys of this because i do know that when you do fast the enemy takes this time to try and get, attack you and he sends weapons from all over sometimes we get attacked at once but God wants you to know that I am still with you I am still walking with you I have not left you I will never leave or forsake you I have you covered in this trust me that this too will turn out for the good of those who believe um, so day five you guys be consistent with this again let me know how you're doing if you're struggling um, let me know you know we can pray together we can get through whatever it is that you're going through right now um although this is just my page like i said i want us to treat this as a group as if we are in a group and we are want to make sure that we connect with one another we re, uh, unite with each one each other and try to uplift and encourage one another um, my family that are taking part in this every day i'm sending them a message hey good morning how are you doing you know this is the verse and they're sending me verses too so um, I have that um, encouragement. I want to make sure that you guys that are con that are connected with, to me on these lives have that c encouragement as well. Um, and that's very important So, because God says, where there are two or three gathered in my name, there I am in the midst. So he wants to make sure that you stay encouraged and that you stay connected to people. Um, so with that being said, I'll go ahead and start with the prayer for the day. So our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil forever and ever. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Father, we come before you, Lord God, first asking you to forgive us of our sins, Father God. Cast those sins into the lake of forgiveness, never again bringing it to your attention or mine. Father, we thank you, Lord, for a brand new day of mercy and grace today, Lord God. We thank you for allowing us to be above the grass and not underneath it, Lord God. We thank you for... Uh, um, thank you just for allowing us to wake up in our right mind, being able to see and hear and being able to have use of our limbs. Father God, we praise you this morning, just bowing down our heads and giving you the honor and the glory on this weekend. Father God, Lord God, we thank you for giving us strength in this fast. We thank you for surrounding us with people that encourage us to stay in on this walk with you. Father God, we thank you for connecting us and uniting us together, Lord God, in a way that only you could have done. Father God, Lord God, we thank you lord god for going ahead of us and preparing this day father god removing any and all things out of our way that is not of you lord god we rebuke any plan of the enemy today father god it will not be victorious in our life lord god you said that we are the head and not the tail above and not beneath blessed going in and blessed going out lord god and we believe and trust every word that you say father god in the name of jesus father i thank you lord for going ahead of us at my kids football game lord god and giving them a win today father god they are victorious because you already spoke it to be father i ask these prayers and blessings name of the father the son and of the holy spirit amen amen and amen so you guys have a wonderful day i said that i was going to get in this week on this weekend just to encourage you just to make sure that you are staying 
on task um, and if you need anything to you know that I'm here to talk with you about whatever it is questions you may have about this fast and um, if I can't answer them I'll go to my pastor and see if he can answer or you know my mom is also a minister I'll ask her you know there's always somebody that we can connect with that God will make sure that we are that we know the truth but a lot of times that's the reason for this fast so God can open your ears so that you can hear the truth for yourself you don't have to go and ask somebody well it's, it's good to unite I mean connect with people but you can hear the truth yourself from God he will speak to you if you just take the time to listen um, so you guys have a wonderful and blessed Saturday be safe don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> I love you. There's nothing you can do about it. God loves you more. So just accept it and move on. And until tomorrow, um, again, I'm not sure what time I'm going to be on tomorrow, but I am going to try to be consistent in this for the 30 days um, because I want to make sure that I keep you guys encouraged and we, we stay focused on this plan. So you guys have a wonderful day. Um, if God willing, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.